Did you grow up here in Houston? Yes, I did. So I grew up in in Sugarland, um, Sugarland, Texas. So uh, grew up at going to Catholic school at St. Lawrence. Okay. Um, all my siblings, all of us went there. Um, so yeah, I grew up in Sugarland. So it's always been St. Lawrence growing up. Yes. Yeah. Received all my sacraments there, confirmation, all of it. Um, went to Catholic school there. It, I, and we loved, I loved St. Lawrence. Growing, going to school there was, was huge. Um, really gave me a foundation in the faith. Um, gave me a great group of friends. My, mom, my mother still teaches there, but she taught there. Um, taught PE and health. So having her there was great. It was just a great community. Um, and I've, uh, again, I'm grateful to my parents for sending me there, making the sacrifice to send me there because it wasn't easy for them. Uh-huh. Um, but if I hadn't gone to St. Lawrence, I don't think I would have, I would be here where I am today. I don't think I'd be in seminary um, just because it gave me that firm foundation in my faith. So, Did you always think that. that you were going to enter the seminary and pursue priesthood? Never. <laughs> I never, I never, ever thought that. Uh, growing up, that was not something I ever had even considered. Um, so no, it, it never came to mind. It only really came to mind last probably, probably three, two and a half years ago. So it was not something early on that ever came up. So growing up, were Sunday Catholics or very involved in the church or how, yeah. what was it like? So, yeah. So we went to mass every Sunday, uh-huh. um, but that was kind of where it stopped. Right. Uh, we would we would pray before meals meals and things like that, but but other than that, it wasn't too. Yeah, that was that was pretty much how, how far our faith went. Uh-huh. Um, and so, while we were at St. Lawrence, we me especially me and my younger brother. My sister is eight years younger than me, so she came in after us after we had kind of had left St. Lawrence. Um, but we we took our faith seriously. Um, you know, going through St. Lawrence just because it was a part of everyday life. You're at, the, you're at a Catholic school, you go to Mass every Friday and mm-hmm. Sunday, so it's, it's every day. Um, and, and we also loved being there too, so that like contributed, I think, to like taking the faith seriously because we loved being at the school, and in, so we associated it all together. However, when I went off to high school, um, I went to a public high school after St. Lawrence, and I went there without any friends. All my friends went to like Strake and St. Agnes. Okay. And I went to... To Clements and Sugarland, um, was it an economic thing? Yeah, yeah, we just couldn't okay. afford could not yeah, afford a uh, strike. It's expensive. Um, yeah, yeah it is a, <laughs> it's expensive. So, um, so I went to Clements, and uh, it was kind of a kind of culture shock, but it was hard for me because I went from St. Lawrence having a you know knowing everybody because your class is seventy people, so it's and you go to you're with them for you know seven years, so you know everyone. Yes. So I went from that to going to Clements High School where I didn't know anyone. Mm. Um. And I remember like for the first couple months sitting by myself at lunch, like just, which was very humbling. And it, it was a, in retrospect, it was a great experience because you, you have to learn how to meet new people and things yes. like that. But at the same time, I lost what I had at St. Lawrence in so far as like everyone knowing me, everyone liking me, having a bunch of friends. So like this popularity that I had, yes, I lost it going into public high school. Oh, So that I think that kind of spurred me on uh, into... Wanting to have that popularity again, wanting to be accepted by others again in that way. Uh-huh. Um, and so that kind of led me, that's where I started to kind of like veer away from the faith, right? And kind of listen to, in a manner of speaking, listen to what the world was telling, you know, tells us uh-huh. will make us happy. And especially us, teenagers. Especially teenagers. 